Hi everyone, it's Evelyn. We have a twin flame read for you here today. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath. Sending lots of love and blessings out to you all. Hope you're having a great day. The sun's not sure if it wants to stay out. We definitely have some sun here. I had to go pick up my mom's ashes today, so it's kind of an interesting day. I was definitely getting the negative collective feelings yesterday and today. A lot of like low energy feelings. And it wasn't me, but I was definitely feeling, I was very grumpy, um, not to anyone, but just within myself, just not, you know, feeling really pulled down yesterday and today. I'm feeling much better now, actually. Um, the Syrian Starseed deck here was cut and dealt at 555 yesterday afternoon. 555, lots of changes, guys. At 618, or excuse me, 614, which is the Lovers and the Temperance card, sirens started going off as I was putting down the Knight of Cups reversed, which can reference that low energy, like feeling rejected or just moody, the Knight of Cups reversed. Um, there could be jealousy coming up there as well. I finished clarifying at 620, which is the lovers and the judgment card, which is decisions, announcements, that wake up call. And I'm going to show you the pictures before I forget to do that. This is the main read for the twin flames here. Okay. And then the full read in front of you is here. Okay. So, uh, the major arcana that came up were guidance, which is like the hierophant. This is the Syrian star seed deck, the main deck. And then Luna, which is the moon. Before the read, Higher Self came up, which is like the High Priestess. And then after the read, Abundance and Alchemy, which is like the Empress and Alchemy is like the, um, the Temperance card. We had two swords, two cups, three wands, and two pentacles, very well balanced. And you notice recently, they've been coming up very well balanced on a consistent basis, which wasn't the case before. Um, we have the King of Pentacles here as the main character in the read. Um, before the read, the King of Wands and the Page of Pentacles came up. And after the read, the King of Cups came up at the end of the read. We have triple sevens in this read. Triple sevens. Very spiritually um, blessed is what I'm getting right now. 44 is the Four of Cups, the grounding and integrating and mastering of love. Also references the Masters. The 99 also came up of compassion and endings and universal selflessness. That's service to others energy while serving self at the same time, which is going within, doing what you love to do. And by doing that, creating that natural energy to serve others. Um, we have 910, begin again. Uh, 47 or 46 is the Six of Cups, the Children in the Garden. 67, the Knight of Pentacles. 79, the Pot of Gold at the End of the Rainbow. 47 is that seven of cups for me it's that synchronicities and then in a lesser sense we had 34 of the eight of wands 45 of the five of cups 56 of the two of swords 78 of the ten of pentacles the end of the deck and then 89 the phi energy of expansion and contraction the code line was all about synchronicity self-discipline and manifestation and the code line number was 27 which is the ace of wands coming from 64 which is the Ten of Swords, Seven of the Chariot, and Ten of the Wheel of Fortune. Um, synchronicity, self-discipline, and manifestation all had um, the first letter kind of separated off. The S from synchronicity and S from self-discipline. Sophia was coming up a, a lot of energy here. But manifestation was very interesting because the M split in half, which then becomes two arrows, right? A, a left arrow and a right arrow pointing upward which was referencing the masculine and the feminine in manifestation, which I'll get into that breakdown when I get there. So regarding this, we also had 22, 32. So a lot of twos are still coming up. 22 is the fool, 32 is the journey, or the journey man, the six of wands. 44 is that four of cups again. Uh, what else came up here? Yeah, that's all the numbers. All right, so regarding synchronicity, self-discipline, and manifestation, and you don't even have to say self-discipline because discipline literally means disciple of one's self, your higher self. So um, the M energy of Imana, which is um, came up as the Pleiadians 
name for her as their God. Um, but Mary comes up here as well. And I always think of M and James Bond, like M, um, like the mother base. So that energy toggling up, check southeast or check the C, 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 seeing with your eyes, seeing with the emotions of your heart, seeing with the unity consciousness, the Christ consciousness, the painful flash of light that comes in here, which also can be an illumination, an epiphany, chariots of fire and the tone of the summary the consistency of direction and the tenor or possessor. So that tenor of that high pitched note was coming up, which references the high vibration again, but also possessions becoming, been coming up a lot this week as well. Um, so the M of the God energy, the masculine and the feminine, which was coming up is the M split in half, right? The right arrow and the left arrow both come together as the M, the Christ C lovers, Right? So it's reflecting the M of the feminine and the Christ of the masculine God, the Christ Sophia. See the lovers for the seventh beat or the emperor's shave, the seventh beat in the chariots of fire, the destined hour here. Also, I don't know is coming, IDK, as the East or the letter E, which is that energy of the five and freedom and expansion, but also the East and the Hierophant and the blissful flash of light to the Christ vibration and the consistency of direction here. Very significant what came up here regarding the Vatican because ecclesiastical revenue and possessions came up here. Ecclesiastical revenue and possessions. And we were just talking about that coming up with um, 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 Simon Parks was talking about all of the money that a lot of the, 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 you know, the big people have in the Vatican bank and how that's going to be the downfall of the you know, the, the negative patriarchy there. So ecclesiastical revenue and possessions, the table of sacrifice also came up here, but it didn't come up in a positive way. It came up in a negative way, right? The altar, the raised Mesa, which then took me back to the nine 11, um, monument right which is underground and how i always show you in that one card from the journey of love that i see an underground platform or like a mesa that comes up from beneath the ground at that monument because it's underground where a, a platform literally raises above the ground and that's where we meet um the ets or the masters coming in there so again the ecclesiastical revenue and possessions at the table of sacrifice or the altar the raised mesa and again there's an etheric altar above the statue of liberty an ending pain in a flash of light the seventh heartbeat the divine feminine in the divine masculine the chariots of fire in christ's high vibration hour sophia why christ chronicles sophia coming up as elf discipline so why was the feminine energy elfed or diminished right the toggling up from the right and the left in the M being both masculine and feminine in the manifestation. The, I was just getting the great manifestation. Then the word Annie fail came up because I was breaking down manifestation. And so Annie is a part of that, but Annie doesn't come, didn't come up by itself when I, with the F because I was actually looking for A-N-I-F and it came up on Wiktionary as A-N-I-F-A-I-L. And that word means animal, beast or beastly person. So if you take away the fail, it's a beastly person without the failing. Um, toggling up again from the right and the left, the masculine and the feminine in manifestation. The um, Ani has a lot of different definitions, so I'm not going to go into that. You can certainly look that up on Wiktionary at 710, which is the chariot and the wheel of fortune. But significantly, the definitions that came up between Ani and Fest, all parts of manifestation, the, the message came out, the divine feminine and divine masculine, the ring, the sky, the fruit, the nut, the harvest, the sudden wave, and the betrothal at the connection, or in other words, divine feminine and divine masculine, ring, betrothal, processed, equals manifestation. So immense, one more um, translation here was immense pain in a flash of light or lightning, or seven pounds or seventh heartbeat 
as chariots of fire at the high vibe hour of synchronicities, self-discipline, and manifestation. Sin Chronicles or Chronic Sin City came up as well as Disciple of Self in the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine in the Divine Masculine and the Ring Betrothal Process. Very interesting there, huh? So we started this read at 816. Eight is the strength card, 16 is the tower. The nine of swords is upright here as the first card in the underlying energy. Beneath that was higher self reversed from bottom up. King of Wands upright, Nine of Pentacles reversed, Five of Swords upright, and the Page of Pentacles reversed. So suffering in silence, purging of nights after the secret is out of the King of Wands shaman, powerlessness, dependence, or loss of money, power, and independence, and at war within, the frog stretching to become the prince, in need of help, money, opportunity, or just never learns, or one to two children with learning difficulties and them suffering in silence or able to get a, or unable to get a project up off the ground or just kids being ungrounded. They could be spenders perhaps. The Knight of Swords reversed holding their tongue with the King of Cups upright. And by the way, the King of Cups was here clarifying the underlying energy card as well as the final card of the read. So King of Cups upright was very significant with unconditional love here. So holding their tongue with the King of Cups, that was the Knight of Swords reversed, resting, and the King of Cups, resting, retiring, or on break with the Queen of Wands reversed, or 5D connection. The Two of Cups is upright here as well, in connection. Perhaps the Knight of Swords reversed and the Page of Pentacles reversed, in unconditional love, or the King of Cups with kids out in the cold, recovering from a split, a divide, lies, or BS with the Queen of Wands reversed. Patient at night, player falls short or doesn't follow through, holding back their true feelings, reaping rewards of the King of Pentacles reversed spending, and the Ten of Cups emotionally fulfilled, or a happy ending recovering from exile, destitution, injury, or illness, and loss, regret, the past, and disappointment with the King of Swords upright. Head under water after injury or illness, the King of Swords sitting on 16 channels, 8x8, eight eight, military state. Okay, so that's bringing up there, um, for those of you not aware, we may be going into some kind of military state regarding, um, Simon Parks was talking about it um, in one of his videos this week about, um, it, you know, it won't be everywhere, just be um, certain critical um, cities or areas that need to have that uh, to keep things under control as the inauguration comes up tomorrow and some um, some things will definitely be coming up there. So, or issues at work and recovering from a mess at home, suffering in silence, the hanging man awake and out, patient angel of a higher love, or Pisces or Capricorn reversed and Sagittarius upright are not working out without tools to make it right, or patient angel manipulated at work. at 841, which is strength in the 41 of the Ace of Cups. By the way, I watched the movie The Untouchables last night, which is really good if you don't mind um, subtitles. Uh, so check that out. So that's energy too that's coming up here, The Untouchables, note that. So there could be a car issue going on here as well. Unable to manifest, even though taking one step at a time, off the beaten path, getting their feet wet, soulmate comes up and beneath that was wedding that, you know, the this situation involves marriage. Um, the Ten of Swords, sorrow of being left all alone. The Queen of Cups, upright, nurturing back to health. The Queen of Swords, upright, is speaking her truth to the man in the mirror at night, defenseless to unwanted advances. The Queen of Swords, war widow, with military man, lobster found their pearl and receiving a hand. Mirroring chalice in the moonlight, sneaking out past the pin cushion, the candle and the bell, a sneak attack while celebrating with friends or family, defenseless to insecurity, manipulation, and lack of tools. Nature comes up here as 74, which is that Six of Pentacles balance. Following your dreams, which is 85, the reflection of 58, which is the Four of Swords, the 5D connection, and then grounding that connection into your reality. Third party powerless or bad influences or dependent Getting over loss, regret, or the past here at 854, strength, and the page of swords. The page of wands reversed is frustrated, holding back an announcement, 
to present truth or findings of not sleeping or awakening, the hermit with the sword of light in prison of lasers, perhaps, escorting her to a higher love, knowing that earth is the prison, a restricted soul on their journey back to source. Wise old man advises the messenger of truth on how to get out of their prison. Two man horse show carrying others under their cloak and the knight of swords picked the right sword this time. The long straw, the hermit with the light, the lantern, I in turn, living on the edge. Truths all around, suffering in silence or just stressed out, up nights perhaps not sleeping well, the king of swords insecure and defenseless, defenseless but upright in his truth, naturally powerless, crippled, blind, or orphaned. The ace of wands, new passion ignited, and the knight of cups reversed in energetic exchange or arrows of love with resting state, 5D connect, falling for the queen of cups. Uncomfortable with the truth, with the Knight of Pentacles, loyal, humble servant of the Ten of Pentacles, family, business, or community, star, healer, dreamer, a dream family with the Emperor and guarded sovereign caring for him. The recent past here at 1056, which is the wheel and the Two of Swords, being in your knowing, perhaps keeping it to yourself. The Seven of Cups reversed, dumping emotional attachments in a losing battle, defenseless and rejected unable to function, confessing to a message of love, or dumping all responsibilities on the baby of the Ten of Pentacles family, business or community, in order to go on a journey, or offering the Page of Wands reverse clarity, or the Ten of Pentacles family offering to pay their way, the child's way. Uh, the foundation here is the guidance card reversed, so therefore no guidance, the divorce or wounded warrior king of swords satisfied alone resisting temptation with taurus scorpio and scorpio both reversed and capricorn upright here at 1104 which is justice and the emperor the central issue is the seven the seven of swords and by the way there were three sevens right in a row here the cards in the middle the center card the challenge and the recent past were all sevens seven of swords passing downloads down the chute. I was seeing this very clearly. You know how I know I know it from the hospital where they have chutes. You know you can message uh, labs or you can send labs to another part of the hospital through those chutes, those vacuum chutes. That was coming up very clearly here. Um, someone passing downloads down the chute, and this can be even at a home where someone can't take the stairs. The journeyman meets their enemy, or bureaucracy meets the military, and then again the vacuum chutes, like at the hospital, were coming up here. But here it was like a shoot going down underground. So there's some kind of um, you know, secret passage there where they're able to get messages back and forth. Passing, yeah. So then I finished here this morning. It was 9.48 a.m. The Hermit and the Eight of Cups walking away and within. Information in vertical tunnel going down. Good news above ground with wealthy constituency passed to the underground military. Heavily guarded brigade of affection to those in negative self-talk or tripping up or spies to catch them when they trip up or fall with no choice here. Suffering in silence as the structures fall, taking a risk, the twins without option guarding the ascension path of lovers from bad news and lacking faith. The challenge being the seven of wands reversed, being defenseless to the energies and attacks, perhaps feeling ganged up on, but without an excuse, ending conflict of scrooginess or holding on too tightly. Happy ending without a choice. When hit the end of the road, just turn around, slow down and use your intuition to reap rewards. Save and daydream. The injustice of the page of cups, sweet child of mine, or message of love and the queen of wands reversed only interested in a home or twist of fate with secret passion and union awakening to ego and or bright ideas, being strong, taming the beast, dumping emotional attachments, and no longer confused with the queen of pentacles upright, holding her tongue, bleeding out or about death and relief, letting everything go, all responsibilities. Now for the twins is the four of wands home with two flames, the page of wands reversed frustrated, dumping emotional attachments with the king of pentacles reversed, dreams, or pawning off dreams as illusions. 
they're too but they're too real keeping cards close to their chest about a move a visit visitation or instability or canceled party or dreams come true in prison homecoming or home getting away with something or running back home for every little thing or a runner who's a spy and bringing home information from the Queen of Swords announcement or judgment or wake-up call. Then I was getting Pan Am and come fly with me. That was coming up and catch me if you can comes up from that as well. As Gabriel mediates in all sorts of channels of communication, in unfair and unbalanced relationship, not sharing and finding peace away from the world, Pisces or Divine Feminine come full circle here or unfair relationship between the Queen of Swords, verbal Aquarius, and the peaceful flowing Pisces, Queen of Swords, and again, that's the, the war between the eras, right? Because we just left Pisces, but there's still gonna be energies of Pisces left around. So this is coming up regarding the age of Aquarius and the age of Pisces, because we just left Pisces. So again, or unfair relationship between the Queen of Swords, verbal Aquarius, and peaceful flowing Pisces, as the Queen of Swords is home defenseless or without excuse, in negative self-talk or with mouthy child who's spying and lying or not leaving the messages or with bad news, no longer obsessing over haircuts or cords with world or around the world, splitting bulls or the running of the bulls in a bold move to third party to get their wish with the King of Wands upright of affection or Pisces dependent on Cancer upright and or Capricorn reversed and Leo upright moving through social distancing, bad influences, to get their wish with the King of Wands and his affectionate nature. The injustice with Leo, ego, or a need to be strong and tame the beast. Third energy frustrations and being present to nothingness, the gift of the moment at 1021, which is the Wheel of Fortune and the 21 of the world and coming full circle, the closing of the cycle, the closing of Pisces. At 1022 is the Wheel of Fortune and the Fool. The King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles both holding their tongues in painful endings, dumping their loads, their burdens and responsibilities, perhaps some confessions. And soon is Luna, the moon upright, with partial illumination, with shadow undertones, nighttime, cancer, and, emo and energetic exchange, that expression, of a, a lot of expression back and forth of feelings, communications travel, however it comes out, between draining kids or Leo, ego, and a need for sunshine and starting over in love, with a mess to clean up after sudden events or in avoiding a disaster, Cancer upright, Leo reversed, and Scorpio and Sag both reversed as well as Pisces reversed here. Scorpio to Sag reversed here, and that could be a cusper, Scorpio Sag cusper, is a player falling short of the Queen of Pentacles or at her feet, and she holding on, saving and grounding, still purging, or having trouble sleeping at night. Secret passion and healing, forgiving at 1027, which is the wheel and the ace of wands, that new passion ignited. The twin flames seeing themselves as the six of wands upright, coming in with a message of love, with no burdens, dream family backing them up, and leading the way through uncomfortable energies and updating with information, giving clarity. The fall of religious structures with the emperor in control, or divorce, break from religion, establishments, contracts, societal norms, the old structures, friction between church and state, or Taurus reversed and Aries upright, at night feeling imprisoned, or with hostage, juggling, performing, to end the pain, or in a painful ending, or getting back, back treatments, you know, any kind of back treatments or related, or back pain and related treatments like massage, or dumping low vibrational pain, pain in the butt, energies to lighten the load, or put a skip in your step. Taurus reversed, Aries upright, Cancer upright here. Honeymoon comes up for the twins, engagement. Very soon, a new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings around the twins or how they are seen is the Four of Pentacles, the Divine Moskin's heart in the Batcave, the King of Wands with the Six of Cups kids or soulmates loving each other, and the King of Wands offering, or thinking about offering time, money, effort, or a new life to heal and forgive this loving connection. The block here for the twins is the Ten of Cups upright, emotional fulfillment or happy end to an emotional cycle, suffering in silence with the Queen of Cups dumped or duped, purging, dumping a load, overwhelmed, or 
the Queen of Cups is amidst others purging and sweating it out and her doing it happily so, like her helping them do that. Synchronicities comes up, self-discipline and manifestation here, but even more so is pride and abundance at 1040, which is the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Cups. Pride and abundance in the lover's connection being silenced by the King of Pentacles reversed or the King of Pentacles reversed is shedding light on those drained or caring for sick with the Empress at the workplace or the King of Pentacles is going back and forth between home and work or the King of Pentacles reversed is at rest on break while others cover back and forth. Could be a death here as well. The workplace injustice being strong yet frustrated at present. We have Libra reversed, Leo upright, the King of Pentacles reversed, King of Wands upright, Queen of Pentacles upright, and the Knight of Swords reversed here. Hermit or Virgo upright here, and the Empress or Taurus upright, all affiliated here with the workplace and abundance. Or the King of Pentacles reversed at work with the Empress reversed, uncomfortable with patience, being patient, angel, or Sagittarius, or a higher love at 1048, which is the wheel and the eight of cups, walking away and within. And the king of cups upright here, the loyal, humble servant moving on in unconditional love. At 49, which is then the nine of cups, the get your wish card, is the king of cups amidst those lashing out and laying the queen of wands reversed to rest, perhaps, or caring for sick, the sick, the suffering and silence, those recovering, without guidance, or the King of Swords with Taurus, Moon, or Rising, and Scorpio in their chart, and Capricorn waving in divorce, in a break from religion, establishment, or uh, a spiritual purging here, and good news coming in, or them bringing it, leading the way, the Divine Masculine's heart in the bad cave, holding on, grounding, repeating steps perhaps, or going back downstairs, no longer confused about prison sentence, and dumping emotional attachments, passing downloads and taking risks. The challenge being defenselessness to the energies attacks without excuses at night with the 10 of cups family or cancer family or emotional fulfillment or a happy ending at home with the king of pentacles reversed at work, school, gym, church, or any place of co-creation with the empress or abundance in uncomfortable energies being patient and a loving man moving on helping the humble loyal servant and that would be the king of cups right there at 1101 which is justice and the magician the secrets out or secret passion with the king of wands shaman powerless or with a dependent or lost money or made a big purchase stretching growing frog to prince on the mountaintop where doves fear to tread the page of pentacles reverse suffering and silence or two kids struggling trying to find peace between the King of Cups and the Queen of Wands, who's reversed, downstairs or not ascending or unable to use the stairs, a prison trapped without guidance or the King of Swords with Taurus reversed, passing information through the chute or taking a risk in a hot air balloon or elevator or lift installed at home and challenged by the Seven of Wands reversed, defenseless to energies, attacks, feeling ganged up on or unable to care for self without excuse, good news and leading the way at night or with cancer, the divine masculine's heart in the cave, warm and cozy with the 10 of cups upright or king of wands upright with loving family or an end to family or emotional cycle with the king of pentacles reversed at the workplace or services with the empress upright or abundance and uncomfortable energies or feelings with patience, Sagittarius, higher love or alchemizing with the king of cups or unconditional love as the loyal humble servant moving on at 11 11 which is where that read ended there and by the way the movie last night with the untouchables was about a man who's paralyzed so there may be someone who's immobilized literally because they might have been paralyzed or that can be paralyzed by fear as well um and talking about someone who you know needs a lift at home. So someone might literally need a lift at home, whether it's you taking care of a parent or somebody who's been in an accident, that kind of stuff coming up. So, and making the best of it. And that in the movie last night, The Untouchables, the paralyzed man was very gracious. You know, he never took it out on anybody else. You know, he always saw the best in things 
or tried to make the best of the situation. It was very cool. And he ended up actually, I'm not going to tell you. You might want to watch the movie. <laughs> All right. So what is our guidance here after this read, regarding this read? For everybody watching, for the best and highest good of all those concerned, what do we need to know and learn for the twins today? And uh, let's clear all blocks to positive energy flow in all chakra layers, auric layers, grounding, and galactic cords across all dimensions of time, space, matter, and realities for the highest good of all those concerned. And fill that empty space with only beautiful divine love <sighs> and diamond crystalline light. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see what this summary is all about. All right, we have strategy. Somebody might be making a plan, a strategy, perhaps journaling here. We have the energy of a ship too with the compass and there's a key at the top here with a key in the lock, right? Finding the key to the codes. There's a lot of, uh, there's music here and scroll work as well. So a lot of creativity here in a strategy, trying to make a plan. And along with that 21 of the world, this regards the world, navigating the world here, we have the 43 of the three of cups, which was reversed in the read. So man holding a coin, maybe holding back, holding this back as navigating the world, seeing what they need at this moment. And then we have the 52 of the goddess of the moon. And the moon was upright in this read, okay? So someone's holding up their end of the deal while he's figuring out a plan here, all right? So the world, this could be referencing social distancing, bad influences, and third-party situations as well when the Three of Cups is reversed. And then we have the Queen of Swords upright, and she is upright in the read. And so, uh, and I believe the world was too as well. The underlying energy here is the second chakra, Archangel Ariel, all about creativity and sexuality. The 36 is the Atlas energy, the 10 of wands, the weight of the world upon your shoulders. And it can be feeling like you have, you know, through your, um, you know, that's where all the birthing energy comes from, the portal of birth. And feeling the weight of the world upon your shoulders in your sacral chakra, your creative place. The seven is beneath this. This is the chariot with the community, right? Descending with the community. And that was upright as well. This was very powerful. So the support of the community, uh, a lot of talk has been coming up about changing communities, leaving, you know, YouTube and Facebook and all those and sites have been been um, stifling our communications, right? Um, moving to new sites and then changing the way you do your thing, you know, changing creative strategies here with the weight of the world upon your shoulders. All right, let's see what... Scooby has to say here. It's like those cards are like the feminine holding up the false light while the masculine gets the foundations, the structures cor done correctly. It's very interesting. Right, because the they're the three D and five D gate holders. So let's see what Scooby Doo has to say. <sighs> Take another deep breath. All right, we got the Joker reversed, which I actually like this card reversed because everyone in this car is in fear. Okay, and so right, they shouldn't be on the road if they're on fear anyway. So we're taking the fear out of the situation, no longer going to, to ascend in fear, but rather perhaps changing vehicles, which is coming up. We also have the five of pentacles here reversed, which is recovering from any of those issues, you know, injuries and illnesses, destitution, feeling left out. And here's Scooby feeling left out of the car here. This could be them stopping to tell him tell him to get out. Or maybe he's got to stop to go to the bathroom, right? Oh, and walking the dog came up regarding the yo-yo, right? The puppet master, right? And this is like Scooby's the puppet master here, right? The show is all about Scooby. So when it's reversed, he's, in, he's being in control. 
because he needs to go to the bathroom. So he's, he may be using that to manipulate them to stop so he can get out because he doesn't like whoever's driving because they're driving in fear, not wanting to follow someone who's in fear, but wanting to follow his own guidance and get out now. Thank you. I don't want to drive with you anymore. <laughs> That's really funny. The bottom of the deck is the instructions. This is, again, no guidance, not following instructions, following your own guidance, not playing by the rules. Go by your own intuition. Very important there. Don't follow the group just because everybody else is doing it. Do what feels right to you. And let's go from a journey of love. All right. From the journey of love, what is our takeaway from this read today? All right, this wants to come out. The guardian of the soul family. 26 is the page of wands. Sometimes it's the child who's the one who needs to leave, like Scooby-Doo, the dog getting out of the car, leading the, the car. Here's coming up the page of wands. The guardian of the soul family. And it's very much like a, it, to me, it looks like, um, you know, a mother and a father adoring their child in their arms in the portal here. But it's also a 2D sketch. These two cards also want to come out, and then, hold on, two more come out. All right, so we have five all together. Very interesting, because the colors are very similar. So just for a moment, joy, 46, is the underlying energy. That's the six of cups, the children of the garden, right? That childlike energy of being in joy and receiving the light directly to your heart. Just take that moment, just for a moment, joy. And then we had the, the guardian of the soul family, and then... Two sets of two cards came out. So 32 of the devotion to the small, which again, the children, but those that are vulnerable, that need help in taking care of themselves, involving people who may be paralyzed or old people who can't take care of themselves. 32 of the journey and leading the way. The 21 of the world, again, coming up, completing the cycle. She is the moon. And this is very much about the pearl energy and the shokare, which is to bring the power here. Strumming my, I'm getting for some reason strumming my pain with his fingers, killing me softly. It's that very much that soft energy with his song telling my whole life, with his words killing me softly. So that, and actually I'm getting like the same woman. See, she's bending down to take care of the flowers, and then she's sitting down to take care of herself. She is the moon, taking care of others and then taking care of herself. Putting the power here. You notice this is black and white, but this is the color. This is where your source comes from, is pampering you. You can't be there for others unless you take care of yourself first. Right? You are your, you are your world. This is the journey, but you, this is your world, you. So those two came up, but look at the coloring in this. And the next two cards that came up, it's really crazy. All right? So we got the white, and then this, and then this white, and then this. And here is the little, it looks like a little piglet on a grass leaf, but it could be interpreted many different ways. We have simplicity of the four of the emperor and the 38 of the queen of cups. The emperor of control and the queen of cups of lovingness, kindness, and intuition. And the pearl threaded. Now that's funny because I brought up the pearl over here. So it's showing you, here's the pearl, and then here's the pearl and the flower. They're showing you, you know, that you're the pearl here. Your heart is the pearl. You are the center of your world. The flower is what builds around you when you take, when you love yourself. And remember, the pearl comes from the bacteria that gets into the, the clam or the oyster, which grows into the pearl. So the beauty of the expansion when obstacles come your way, okay? Again, this is the emperor and the queen of cups. And then here is the journey and the world. So this is like a larger perspective, and then here's a more personal perspective. Yeah, very interesting. All right, so we got five cards all together there, and I'm going to read you The Guardian of the Soul Family, number 26. Okay, you're being drawn to kindred spirits in this physical world by loving guardians in the spiritual worlds. If you feel you're leaving relationships behind, do not be afraid. 
The space that such courageous action creates is sometimes necessary in order to have room for the new to enter your sphere of consciousness. You may also feel that somehow a relationship that seemed to be held back from you is now becoming available to you. There is a great soul love calling you into more intimate connection now. It is sanctioned by the divine. It is karmic destiny to fulfill. There is love that you are to experience in connection with particular souls, predetermined by the divine plan. If you're struggling to feel the soul purpose in your current relationships, take heart for you're being helped by divine guardians who understand and support the sacred purpose of your relationships. Be open to current relationships healing, whether that means improved communication, an enriched experience, or the realization that you've traveled as far as you can together and know that new relationships are going to be an important aspect of your spiritual journey being fulfilled. Trust in the divine timing of your life and open your heart to the guardians who will help you with unconditional love now. So you see that was very important because the King of Cups started and ended the read. The guidance of this oracle for you is that relationship healing is taking place in present relationships unfolding, in attracting the right relationships for your future growth, and in leaving behind relationships of the past with a peaceful heart. Be gentle with your heart, beloved. All is well. When I open my heart, you cover me with a blanket of love and warm the silence with your caress. Words unspoken say it all as we become more than we are alone. Okay, guys, take care of yourselves with the intense energy. You're, if you're feeling really pulled down, it's because of the collective energies around the inauguration tomorrow. So just know that because there's a lot of takedowns coming up as well. Um, if any kind of um, military stuff comes up, because there may be some um, some uh, some of that stuff coming out to guard certain cities, depending on where the takedowns are taking place. Um, just know that that's the energies and it's not you. So just go with the flow, allow the energy, love yourself, your inner child, and know that you're always going to wake up in a new state tomorrow. So do your meditation, take your walks, your baths, make sure you drink your water, get your rest, your joy, and your nature. And as always, guys, rise and be loved and be good to yourselves. Bye.